Yo, what's up, YouTube? I want to go ahead and make this video about Edis Lundy, Laura, the Devil and Rodriguez fight, and that, uh, that tour better be a fight, right? So that happened at, uh, what was it, June 12th, 2015, at the UIC Pavilion. And I already posted up <laughs> somewhat of a uh, prediction video, right? And I said that, you know, this fight <laughs> with Laura was going to be boring. And that's not to say that, you know, I don't uh, marvel at, at uh, Laura's, you know, skills, you know, his boxing ability, because he was dead on, man. He was like a sniper, you know, hitting the uh, devil Rod Rodriguez upside the head with that left hand all day. He was like, one, two, one, two, three, you know, he, he couldn't miss. Um, but, you know, he didn't get him out of there. You know, he didn't finish. It's just like he, it's like he carried Devil and Rodriguez 12 rounds. And, you know, you know, certain fighters got certain, uh, temperaments. I don't know if you notice or not, but, um, uh, it, Laura, he sort of, you know, I want to say he f fights like, uh, Almost like rigging down, you know, they're both Cubans and they're both amateurs, you know. You know, they have an extensive uh, Cuban amateur career, right? And they both, like, counter punches, but with rigging down, he, he, it's, it's different, man. You know, he gets guys out of there. You know, people try to say he's born, but to me, he's he's not. He, and he's totally different from Laura. Uh, in this fight, Laura didn't evade as much. You know, he stood in the pocket, you know, uh... No, I guess he didn't uh, circle the ring that much. I want to, uh, and when I mean by circle the ring, some people, some people probably want to say run, but he didn't do that. You know, he see, you know, he just stepped to the side a little bit. He boxed, you know, uh, backed up a little bit, and then he circled Devlin Rodriguez when he needed to. Devlin didn't do nothing but stood, stay. You know, he all he did was all Devlin Rodriguez did was stand in front of Laura. And like, like that's why I, I knew he was gonna do that because that's what he always does when he stepped up in competition. And he just, you know, he freezes up, man. You know, it's like he freezes up, and he just st stands there. You know, I'm so I'm sort of at a loss for words. That's why you know, in the other video, the prediction video, I was just like, man, it's gonna be a a boring fight. And it, it went twelve rounds, and he knocked Devlin Rodriguez down at least once, from what I remember. And, you know, he didn't even close the show, you know. And so, and then, um, you know, I listen to some other YouTube channels, and they, they say it's about, uh, you know, they say it's about race, why nobody wants to watch Laura. And it's like, no, nah, they, they might have a point, but he's he's not giving them other reason to like them. So, you know, they're giving them a way to, you know, they're giving them an out to not, to not, to not like them. But... You get what I'm saying? Cause it's it's like uh, it's it's just facts at the end of the day. You know, it's just like proof. Well, here's the proof. You know, cause you're gonna ask somebody it's like, well, where's the proof? And the proof is gonna be either in the ratings or in the fact that you don't get too many knockouts or, or something like that. But with Rigondeaux, I mean, I don't know how anybody can say Rigondeaux born because he gets knockouts. And he 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 bangs dudes, and if you hit him, he he try to go tit for tat. He he does try to go tit for tat. Like you touch you touch him, and he gets knocked down. So it ain't like he's not not getting touched every now and then. He gets knocked down. And that last fight he fought the Japanese guy. He looked good, man. But um, Laura, he he just gotta he he's gotta market himself, man. He gotta get out of that. Uh, is his comfort zone? It's it's, it's it's almost like he has a comfort zone of just do, doing enough, just to get by, and that's not making man. He called himself the, the American Dream. He's he's just the American, you know. He just the American Joe. You get what I'm saying? He's just the average Joe, man. You know, so you you average. You know, you mediocre. You know, because because any anybody can just you know. uh just, just be average, but not everybody can be great, and it doesn't look like Laura's trying to be great. And I mean, that's why people love 
uh, the movie. <laughs> that's why people love the movie Rocky, and you have other guys like Bam Bam Real, and Ruslan Provotnikov, and some of these other guys because they know they're limited. You know, they have a they know they're limited, but they do it. They they will, where uh, they they will overcome. You know, the limited skill sets, and they they're gonna they're willing to oppose their will on the uh the more s- skillful skillful fighter, you know? And Lord Lord's not doing that, man. So um he he and he makes it easy for uh p- people to uh, you know st- still you know, he makes it easy for people to um to cheat him, for him to get robbed. Like I I saw the Canelo fight and I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? Uh Laura Ain't doing nothing but circling, circling around the ring, pop shotting, and we saw how that uh, benefit Lamont Peterson when he went against uh, Danny Garcia. You know he turned it on late, but he gave up rounds, and and that's what Laura was doing in Canelo fight. He was like, man, you giving up rounds because you you're not the you're not the favorite. You're not gonna beat this Canelo <laughs> by doing this. You know you you making Canelo look good, and that's what he did. Because I was thinking, you know, uh, Canelo might not have won, but he he looked good. You know, I, if I was a judge, I would give Canelo the uh, the round because it, it's not like he wasn't landing anything. And that Paul Williams fight, Paul Williams uh, was getting tagged with that left. But you know what? Paul Williams never stopped throwing punches. So it's not, it's not like he didn't land on, he didn't land on Lord. He kept throwing punches constantly. And Lord just stood there in front of him, you know, catching stuff and getting hit with stuff. But anyway, man, it's, it's, it's whatever with Lord, man. That's what I'm saying. He's just a born fighter. That's why I didn't even go to the fight. I wasn't wasting my money to go out and go, go down there and for parking. You know, they want $20 for parking. And if I wanted a free park, I would have had to walk a quarter mile just to get the uh to watch him fight. Forget that, man. Forget that. And I tour uh better BF versus uh Alexander Johnson. You know what? It turned out that I've seen Alexander Johnson fight before. He fought some other uh top prospect dude and he won. But um at tour better BF, you know, what did we learn there? Uh he's strong. But man, he can he be out box, especially if you stand in front of him and you're willing to to trade with him. And you, all you gotta do is like step to the side a little bit, you know, give some movement, and put your punches together and like clinch and hold. You do that, you do that clinch and clinch and hold on him like a Khan. <laughs> and um, Klitschko, you got some holding if you do a clinch and hold technique on him. Yeah. that... Uh, but it was a good fight, man. It was a good fight. Alexander uh, Johnson, man, he has some real good skills, man. So, um, but as far as a tour better be of, it looks like it takes him a quite a while to f- figure out someone. And then I don't think his, um, you know, his brain is like a processing computer. I don't think he has the quad dual processing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think he has like the top notch Apple, IBM processing speed in his mind because it looked like he was like standing there thinking about you know um you know counter punch it and then johnson was like just slapping upside the head with a couple of jabs and a couple of uh straight lefts and rights whatever and uh our tour better be was like oh damn i was supposed to uh you know block and do a counter punch and stuff like that like he was trying to wait he was trying to sucker johnson to come in sometimes but sometimes it didn't work but he finally got him it was like, like what the uh six or seventh round but he did a lot of good work on the ropes when he had johnson on the ropes you know he stayed busy you know and he banged to the body a lot of times he did go to the body so our tour better be of uh shined in spots where he was supposed to shine when he had Johnson on the ropes he did let his hands go so uh he's a work in progress uh they got him ranked pretty high so anytime now he probably be fighting for a belt i don't know how long he'll keep or if he or if he'll even win one but he's 30 men so he's not like old he's not ancient and then he got power so He's got a punch his chance. All right. Let me know what y'all think. All right. Bye.